The Cincinnati Zoo's director fired back at his critics on Monday, explaining that the boy who fell in the gorilla's clutch was in serious danger. While social media users erupted in fury over Harambe, the gorilla's death on Saturday, director Thane Maynard defended the decision to kill the 420-pound primate. Very emotional time at the Cincinnati Zoo. Uh, It's unprecedented. We have never had to kill a dangerous animal in the middle of an emergency situation. The zoo's been here 143 years, so that's saying a lot. There were hugs. The people that knew Harambe the best, his keepers, shared a lot of stories about him. Um, But everybody at the zoo feels the loss. There's no doubt about it. Child was being dragged around. His head was banging on concrete. This was not a gentle thing. The child was at risk. We're very fortunate that he's okay. Um, So when it was determined that the child was being injured, not potentially injured, but was being injured, both down in the moat and then up on the ground, um, that we had to make a decision to shoot him, and we did. So far, Maynard has ignored criticisms from irate social media users who claim Harambe was trying to protect the toddler who fell in the pit, taking solace in support from his fellow animal experts. He called out the online mob's outrage for lashing out after only seeing short clips and snapshots on the internet instead of seeing the whole situation. Looking back, we would make the same decision. I know that after it is over and the child is safe, It's easy, like a Monday morning quarterback, to look at it and say, wow, 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 don't we need to do this differently? The people that say that, A, don't understand primate biology and silverback gorillas and the danger the child was in, and B, we're not there at an important time to make important decisions. We We stand by our decision and we make the same call today.